This is one of the casement windows that will go into the redwood timber frame. And this is the frame is one of the frames is this larger rectangle here. And then there are two sash hinge sa hinged sash that will fit into this window. So I've constructed one of the sash here, uh, just glued up yesterday, and it will be fit in, fitted into the uh, rabbit here in the frame. Uh, it will also be beveled on the bottom to sit down into that bevel that's on the window sill. This is the outside facing uh, in the timber frame. So this will this will hinge out hinge out this way. And now uh, so I've got four of these sash to make and I've got some parts here for the second sash. Let me just change the camera position a little bit. And perhaps I can assemble this sash so you see how the parts work. So we have these these muttons uh, that are molded and then shaped uh, to fit together. Uh, so I've got these marked. So this horizontal fits in this joint and this is the middle horizontal piece. Notice that on the back edge here there's a rabbit all the way around so the window glass will fit into that rabbit and then a molding will be tacked down to hold it. Uh, so that's another thing that I'll have to do. And these pieces are all also redwood and there's a lot of band sawing that goes on to create these shapes and pieces. Uh, it's, it's quite a job getting all these shapes made up. So what has to, the way this has to go together, the vertical styles are last. And the uh, bottom the lower rail fits in there. The upper, you can see there's a little socket in these V cuts that uh, the muttons go into that, that little socket there. So now the these are through tenons, so they go all the way, and that's typical of strong classic doors like or sash like this. And so that comes together, and then this goes in to the mortise and tenon joints. Ah, that fits, that fits well. And so I can get clamps, clamps around this. And each of these muttons then uh, 
fits into little sockets on these styles. Uh, so I'm using tight bond three when I glue these. Gives me a little bit of extra time because I need it. And the first thing I do is glue up the muttons and then and then the mortise and tenon joints. And then I clamp this all uh, all of, uh, several clamps on it to pull it together to create the assembly. So I've got uh, I've only got one sash done and now I've got uh, three more to to assemble and glue. <laughs>